Blessed be the name of the Lord Jesus. We give you praise. We give you praise this morning. We worship you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord King of King, Lord of God. We worship you. Blessed be your holy name, King of King, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for the things that you have done and the things that you are doing. The greatest God forever the same. Blessed be your holy name, Lord Jesus. Blessed be your holy name. Blessed be your holy name. Our rock, our deliverer, our all and all, the mighty God, my refuge, my fortress. Hallelujah. We give you praise, Jesus. We give you praise. We give you praise. We give you praise, Jesus, this morning. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. This morning we shake off every wickedness, every evil present against us. We scatter them all, we destroy, we decree and declare in the name of Jesus. And they will not succeed in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. No weapon formed against us shall prosper. Every time I rise up against us in judgment, we declare them, we condemn and destroy. In the name of Jesus. Mark her pass at any boat. Blessed be your holy name. Blessed be your holy name. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' name. That never fails. Let me hide in you. Let me hide in you. In you, there is power. Hallelujah. That rock that never fails. Let me.
of search for power, for help, for deliverance. All I get is confusion. The world has no power to deliver or to heal. The power to heal or to deliver is in the name of Jesus. Oh
Time is coming when time will not be on the way. When we pour ourselves like an offering to God forever and ever, forever and ever. When there will be no limitation, when you are praising God and you are pouring the praises from deep down your spirit and soul, 
the demons and the forces in this world that they resist and, and make sure that you don't continue. They are nowhere anymore to be found. Because sometimes we feel in our heart to just keep praising, keep worshiping, keep, and you see yourself. Even though you have spent hours or spent the minutes, you feel, you feel that it's not yet done, but just yourself stop it. It's not you, it's not your spirit wants to continue. But the flesh, because the powers of darkness that surrounds us, those are, those are things are facts. In those days, I can never think this or even believe in this is what I'm saying. Because our, 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 our forefathers, our, 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 our first generation Christians, they will let you to know when you are praying, oh, Satan cannot be there. How, how dare you be there? How can you be there? It's not even possible to make mistake when you are fully in the spirit. Who told you? <laughs> I'm not exalting the, the works of darkness, but these are facts. Fact. Jesus Christ finished 40 days, 40 days fasting and prayer. The fire around him is supposed to be too much. And the devil came and started tempting. Someone who, who just coming from fire. Who was filled with the glory. Remember, Moses went to God for 40 days. His face was covered with glory. And, you know, that in the fullness of the glory of God, Satan was able to still go to the presence of God and start accusing Job. <laughs> This is a deep things, deep. And therefore, don't, don't take things for granted. It's a fact that happens. When you are worshiping God, even the full of the spirit worshiping God, your mind is wanting to something that you know that is not right, or accusing you of something that you have done, in order to bring down the spirit of God, not to bring down that level that you have, you have climbed. That you are going. Even as you are climbing up, <laughs> you have been fighting forces that want to stop you. This is a real reality. The real thing that happens. Let me be very careful in the name of Jesus. And I pray that the Lord will open us. Because when you become aware of these things, it will help you more. To be conscious when you are in the spirit, when you are the, doing the things of God. But before, I would be one of those who would doubt and say it's not possible. But as you need to read the word of God with understanding, you need to see the fact that these things are even happening. And that's the reason why we struggle as a Christian. Even, and the prayers, people are fasting and prayer, they are still committing fornication. It's not them. It's because they lack understanding. I like understanding. You are praying and you are, and you are still. Why was why was Satan send someone who is a a, 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 a a seducer to a pastor who is filled with anointing, laying hand and preaching and the signs and wonders are, are happening? He will send them to go and distract them, take them away from that realm. So that the anointing will come, that they will not continue that time where they are going. This is happening. And I pray, you know, when you are conscious of that, you know, when you not see someone flashing or Satan pushing their image to you, what will you do? You know, back them and cast them. And if you are not aware, oh, right, what is happening here? In the process, gradually, we are being drifted away from the flow. And I pray that God will help us with this fact in the name of Jesus. You know, these are the knowledge that you need to be able to remain sustained, you know, sustainable growth. Hallelujah in the Lord. And I pray God will help us and deliver us. And give my brothers, my sisters, those who are fighting with a lot of things they don't know, this very fact. Hallelujah. Because that will really help you to overcome a lot of trials, a lot of wicked things that are signed against you. May God help us in the name of Jesus. Satan is crafty. Seriously crafty. 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 God help us in Jesus' name. <laughs> But as we continue to allow the Spirit of God to feed us, to run ourselves in the things of God, in the, in the process, His craftiness has been exposed. You know, you know, He will try this way, He will be exposed. Then God has given you an edge. And when you come that way, you bring Him down. 
<laughs> you brought another one. They come again, you bring him in that way. And, the, and I pray that God will help us in the name of Jesus. In the name of you. This morning, we're going to go straight down to the word of God. Hallelujah. You know, we are in the book of Revelation. Hallelujah. I just pray, those who have not, um, please go to the book of Revelation. The, the book of Revelation started yesterday. No, we started the book of Revelation on yeah, so, 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 Saturday. Yeah, Saturday night. Hallelujah. We're going to continue. Very, very wonderful. There is a one we've done book of Revelation over and over, and there, there is so many exposition, a lot of uh, deep things that the Lord has revealed. That I remember I had before, but as I keep reading the word of God, I'm going to see the confirmation of those truths the Lord has revealed to us. Hallelujah. And I just hope I'll be able to go to the archive with the Facebook and get all those things out. Hallelujah. And put them together. All the Revelation, Book of Revelation and, 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 and studies that we have gone through. And this season again, I believe the Lord has something deeper for us this season. And then I pray as we continue, then the Lord expose and open us up and give us the knowledge, the wisdom we need. And we to keep her soaring like the eagle in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Right now. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. We give you praise. Make a pastor in here. Thank you, Lord. We're going to continue the book of Nehemiah. Book of Nehemiah. I like fighters. <laughs> I like those who who dare what naturally that is not possible. If you look at it, it's look as it's not possible. How can how can this be? How can this be? How can this be? How can this be? It can it's not possible. That is one of the story of Nehemiah. It's not possible. It's not possible. It's not possible. And the Lord in, in your in our very eyes he show you and let you and I know that it's possible. Only person possible. Hallelujah. And I pray in the name of your those areas that the enemy have locked our mind up, making us to feel that a lot of things are not possible. It's not possible to worship God. It's not possible to do this and that. And I pray in the name of you that this season, how that the Lord will destroy those wicked knowledge that Satan has spared us with, bringing limitation to the ability and the things the Lord and the Holy Spirit can do in the name of Jesus. Let them be scattered through this, uh, especially this week in the name of Jesus. How they are beyond. Thank you, Lord, you this hour. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. There's nothing that is not possible. Seriously, nothing is impossible. Even if you are sick, no matter how the illness is, nothing is impossible. Okay, one instance to just help someone fit to, to, to come up a bit. I'll start with my own self. Few months ago, <coughs> I started feeling some strange things in my in this side of my body. You know, in the in under this the strange teeth start coming out strange, strange about if I count them, they're more than they're more than five, ten or thereabout. Strength, small, small teeth start coming down under my this thing. I'm like, ah, God, what is all this? I'm becoming afraid. I said, no. I begin to pray. I ask, anytime my spirit, my, my mind goes there again, I just counsel. I said, no, this is not possible. Whatever the Lord has not planted, it cannot be. Whatever demonic, whatever, I said, no, it's not possible. In the name of Jesus. The fear was to start going to dentists and not you know, if you go, they begin to see things and sit down because they don't understand. It's their job, they don't understand. And, and it's very, very good. They are doing a great job in restoring people's whatever and all the stuff. They're doing a great job. Hurry. Then I need to pray. In the process, everything disappears. I can't feel anything. That's one. Now, 
that this lady that was doing her lottery was a harlot. She went to the doctor and removed her womb and said, there's no other job I can do. This is the only thing I can use to feed my family and help my parents and all those stuff. That means anytime you see people doing her lottery and all those stuff, don't really have, have mercy, have compassion. Don't really talk down. Some of, I know some of them just want to, but most of them, they are very great women. Seriously. They try every other thing. Unfortunately, Satan made them to understand and made them to know that that's the only thing they can do. And the process, they are just, you know, going that way, which is no good. Again, because if you look at the, the Bible, Rahab in the Bible, God understand, understood what she was going through. And the, and the Lord decided to deliver her from that way of life. And I pray that our sisters who are going that way, the Lord, by His mercy, will deliver them in the name of the Father. Have mercy, deliver them. You remember Rehab? Remember my sisters and the, uh, those who are going that way, Lord, deliver them in the name of Jesus. The woman who married uh, nine, is it, um, five husbands, Father, Lord, remember, remember in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Some of them are under your spell, under family cause. They begin to hear it when they don't really understand. Father, remember them in the name of Jesus and deliver them. And give them the husband that will give them peace. The husband that will give them peace in the name of Jesus. And that will still respect and value them regardless of all the mistakes they've made in the name of Jesus. Bring out the best character in their life. The best that you install in them, O oh Lord. In the name of Jesus, so that your life can be a testimony to the whole world of what you can do in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. This woman went and continued and removed her womb, cut it off. So I don't want to have any child. I want to continue this trade until only God knows. Probably if I die in it, that is it. As far as I'm using to sustain my family and all the stuff. In the process, she got encounter with Jesus Christ. She got encounter with Jesus Christ. And her life was transformed. She said, even though I don't have any other thing to do, I will lock myself up with Jesus. I'm going to church. I'm going to serve. I'm going to serve. Probably the, by the grace of God, she was not employed as one of the workers. As she was just in that uh, her, her poor place, serving not coming to church down to start looking for a husband or looking for someone to continue to destroy their life. She totally turned away from that part of life. Totally turned away. Then the process, what happened to her? God brought a very nice, you know, pastor who truly loved the Lord, who is not a deceiver too. Who truly loved the Lord. And now begin to reveal to him that is the word he want to marry. He want him to marry. That is the person. Wanted to marry. The pastor, the pastor was like, he doesn't even know what to do. He cannot have peace. In the process, he approached the woman and asked the woman, see what the Lord is saying. The woman laughed, she smiled and laughed and was like, what do you mean? No, 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 no. Just leave me the way I am. I don't want to marry. I mess up my life and all those stuff. Then she said, no, the pastor said, this is what the Lord is saying. After some days, she came back again. Said, "This is what is getting in spirit. You cannot have rest." Probably, I believe the Lord is showing, showed him too, that you know where he's carrying his child with that woman, <laughs> with the little lady. Then the process, he refused to believe what the woman was saying. If a man, a woman is in Christ, truly in Christ. You are a new creation. All things have passed away. Then the process, the man insisted. He told them, the man, I don't have womb. You see the sincerity here. You see the reason why God was fighting for her? Because she had a sincere mind. He doesn't want to deceive anybody. He doesn't want to keep back her old life. In order to deceive this man, she was, she was sincere. 
Because some people will tell you, oh, don't tell your past to your, 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 your spouse. Don't tell you, oh, behind it. Oh, they know now, it will not continue. Then if you now start the relationship with deceit, that deceit will end it. Because there's no, there's no foundation. The, the, the foundation is already a lies and falsehood. Be sincere. Even if you have messed up your life before, and now you totally turn away from it. Be sincere. Be sincere. It's only sincerity that we that we, that will guarantee you, you know, establishment. Then the process, she was sincere, and the Lord keep on because of her sincerity. The Lord now hardened the heart of that pastor to go further, you know, to show that he's serious. He called the pastor of the church, and and they did everything in the process. He got married. Just a few months after they got married, here you go, the woman was pregnant. She said, she said it's not possible, how can it be? She said, it's not possible. This woman, this lady took the husband to the doctor that removed the womb. I believe that the doctor even went to the whatever and brought the womb and showed this is the womb of your wife. So that move. How how come that she's pregnant? How come that she's pregnant? There's nothing God cannot do. You see, the foundation of her of our testimony is sincerity. It's sincerity. That is what transforms the truth is what transforms. And it's the truth that 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 the truth in her that that, that had in the heart of God, I had in the heart of the pastor to continue in that line. I mean, sometimes if you want someone to marry you and it's not working, that there may be some things you had, you are not sincere, and God is delivering another person. You don't need to use witchcraft and falsehood. And that's the reason why the other person is not getting the signal. Because the God knows that pastor, know that this is my servant. I want to use him for my work. I want to use him this end time. Is that the place in me? And therefore, the Lord too protected him. There may be other virgin and people who are this in here and there, but they are not sincere, full of lies and deceptions. And here, somebody who was rotting. Dejected. Who was who was who was supposed not to be? God took her and cleansed her up. He said, I have to rehab. May God help us in the name of Jesus. And you see, sincerity, you know, truthfulness always cleared the door. And may God, you know. You are, you, are like, you, are like, you are like giving God a burden. You say, indirectly telling God, God, you must do it. And God will, can, there's no way God can. There's no way, there's no way God will say no. It's not possible. When we are truly sincere, that if things are not working very well the way, that means there's some ingenuity, there's some insincerity in us. You try to manipulate things, you want to force things, you want to use witchcraft, you want to use this and that to cause things to be the way you want them to be. And that's the reason why we all struggle. May God deliver us all in the name of Jesus. For I have mercy on us, O Lord Jesus. The broken heart and the contrast spirit you never despise. Have mercy on us, Lord Jesus. Have mercy on us, O Lord Jesus. In all our insincerity, Help us, Lord Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. If you even go through the word of God, you do the heart such kind of heart that God always use, the God always put above every other person. They always find a place in God. Those with such kind of heart. May God help us in Jesus' name. Now we're gonna go ahead on the book of Nehemiah, chapter 9. And I pray as we go through them, the Lord will speak to our heart in the name of Jesus. Let there be transformation. Let there be great things in our life this morning. In the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Hallelujah.
accept your winning this morning, Jesus. We give you praise. Amen. Nehemiah chapter 8, chapter 9, from verse 1 to end. Then let's just play it. Hallelujah. And after playing, in the process of playing, then I will just flow in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Insight to this word. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Mm. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Let's go. 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 let Amen. <clears throat> Chapter 9. Now on the 24th day of this month, the people of Israel were assembled with fasting and in sackcloth and with earth on their heads. And the Israelites separated themselves from all foreigners and stood and confessed their sins and the iniquities of their fathers. And they stood up in their place and read from the book of the law of the Lord their God for a quarter of the day. For another quarter of it, they made confession and worshipped the Lord their God. You see, they read the book of the law. The previous chapter said that they, that, they, that they read it half a day. Then they understood it. They understood. Then in the, in the process of understanding, there was peace in the atmosphere. There was a peace. They began to eat and then, you know, the Lord asked them to do now go and then, and and then. those who doesn't have food or those who have something they should share with one another. You should see themselves as a kind of massive turnaround, massive peace, massive uh, you know coming back to the Lord. Yeah, they still continue. Yeah, and they all went now on fasting and prayer, confessing their sin once again, deeper and deeper, deeper and deeper. Now reading the word of God again. The deeper and deeper going to the word of God, how oh, dear, <clears throat> and the word of God, quarter a day, and they confess their sins again, quarter a day. How oh, dear, you see, reading the word of God has power. When people understand the word of God, it's better than just having Holy Ghost, God's oh, mercy, having service, laying hands and laying hands and laying hands. I don't say laying hands is not good, it's good. The difference between laying hands and the, and the reading the, and the word of God is this: you you know the truth and the truth will remain with you forever. So that you can forget, you still remember back because this because it's been planted in you. The anointing and bringing the yoke and signs and wonders is many for those who does not believe. The major reason for is many for those who who do not believe the word of God. Or so new Christians. For God to use it to do what? To draw them closer to Him. To show them His capability. Then that can now bring, can now cause them to repent. Because as a true Christian who, 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 who love the Lord and worship the Lord in spirit and in truth and, and walk in the upright. Because of your constant, you know, presenting yourself before God. Miracle is your bread. It's, it's your daily routine. It's the thing that normally is, is the thing. It, it don't, it's not a special thing. Then are you seeking for anointing, 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 anointing? It's not really, you know, it's a normal thing. As far as you come to the presence of God, then this, you are being anointed. It's a normal thing. But a special service who, who being held for special anointing is mainly for the unbelievers. For those who probably who are struggling in their faith, who are not really strong, to help them to come up a bit. They constantly study the word of God. Here yeah, they study the word of God. And the knowledge begin to do things in their life. The understanding of the word begin to do things in their life. 
make them to realize that they have sinned bring to bring make them to you know the fear of god and then begin to grow begin to draw closer to god may god help us in the name of jesus it's no good that the church of christ these days every service they must be anointed every service they must be laying no it's not good it's not right every service they must be anointed and will be laying of hand they must... no what the church needs is the word of God. The light that is in the world. To expose the wickedness, to make us knowledgeable of the things, the, 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 the information that Satan is hindering us from, making sure you don't, you, don't, you don't know these things. The word will help us. And unfortunately, a lot of people now, especially Pentecostalism, is anointing 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 you carry water you carry oil you carry this you carry and with all those things god is so far away from us the rituals are good but it's not now making it to become your god the oil the water the anointing the layer to make become your mini god that's not right it's the word of god the information you have goes a long way hallelujah here we can see the, the one we read yesterday said they read the word, they understand it, their life was transformed. Here to they are reading the word of God, they, they understand it. Now they now start applying it, start understanding the things that enemy have hid away from them. Some of these um, 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 scripts of, of Moses, the Lord revealed to Moses that they, they, they don't have, they don't Bible said that they were when some of the people were walking in the temple, they now discovered these scripts. Is that called part of those Torah that was not available? They started reading it, not understanding all. So this information system was held in from us. And that is why we have been suffering. That is why we have going through things. But all this why they have been doing rituals, doing all the killing of bulls and lamb and sacrificing. It did not give them, not deliver them until they get access to that information. That brought transformation. May God help us in the name of Jesus. The one you see a pastor that always anointed, anointed, oh, lay hand, oh, come and show you them, lay hand, lay this in, mm -mm. kick you, you fall, roll, 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 from you know, after rolling, you stand up and you are still the same. But the, when the word of God hits you, you will stand up, you can never be the same. The world transforms, it changes. May God help us in Jesus' name. Amen. And we continue earlier our reading. And read from the book of the law of the Lord their God for a quarter of the day. For another quarter of it, they made confession and worshipped the Lord their God. On the stairs of the Levites stood Jeshua, Benai, Cadmiel, Shabaniah, Bunai, Sherebiah, Benai, and Canaanai. And they cried with a loud voice to the Lord their God. Then the Levites, Jeshua, Kadmiel, Benai, Heshevniah, Sherebiah, Hodiah, Shebaniah, and Pethahiah said, Stand up and bless the Lord your God from everlasting to everlasting. Blessed be your glorious name, which is exalted above all blessing and praise. You are the Lord, you alone. You have made heaven, the heaven of heavens, with all their host, the earth and all that is on it, the seas and all that is in them, and you preserve all of them, and the host of heaven worships you. You are the Lord, the God who chose Abram, and brought him out of Ur of the Chaldeans, and gave him the name Abraham. You found his heart faithful before you, and made with him the covenant to give to his offspring the land of the Canaanite, the Hittite, the Amorite, the Perizzite, the Jebusite, and the Girgashite. And you have kept your promise, for you are righteous. Look at that place. You see, hallelujah. See, you find Abraham's heart faithful before you. Then you made him the covenant to give him what? The, his offspring, the land of the enemy, the land of the Canaanites, Heredites, Amorites, Bresites. When our heart is faithful, when our heart is faithful, Mark I reboche there. When our heart is faithful, just like that day I was just saying, our heart was faithful. 
and they left without giving her inheritance she never bargained for. Gave her the man she never bargained for. Am I supposed to be, you know, marrying those who have, I, I, who have gone to that through that? God, my shatai there. See, when your heart is faithful, God will give you inheritance. God will give you. God is determined to 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 lavish you with His love. When your heart is faithful, may God have mercy on us in the name of Jesus. Abraham was faithful. And the faithfulness of Abraham is what you and me are still enjoying. That means we need to work on our faithfulness towards our God. So begin to the God still have loads of stuff for you and me. May God help us in Jesus' name. He said, and he and you have kept your promise for you are what? Righteous. Hallelujah. Lord kept his promise for Abraham because he was righteous. Let's continue. Hallelujah. Go before you and made with him the covenant to give to his offspring the land of the Canaanite, the Hittite, the Amorite, the Perizzite, the Jebusite, and the Girgashite. And you have kept your promise, for you are righteous. Hallelujah. And you saw the affliction of our fathers in Egypt and heard their cry at the Red Sea and performed signs and wonders against Pharaoh and all his servants and all the people of his land. For you knew that they acted arrogantly against our fathers. Mm. And you made a name for yourself, as it is to this day. And you divided the sea before them, so that they went through the midst of the sea on dry land. And you cast their pursuers into the depths, as a stone into mighty waters, by a pillar of cloud. God help us in the name of Jesus. You see, here is, is part of the truth of the reason why the Lord dealt with the Egyptians shrewdly. They acted arrogantly, arrogantly against the people of God. That means when you are dating with your brother, your sister, people around you, try to treat them with respect. Even though you may be a rich man, you may be the one paying their this thing and all those stuff. Just like I watched a few, a one one clip a few days ago, that this rich man. He just he was boss, boss everybody, he was bossing everybody. He was not recognizing anybody, even his 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 his, his, his mates or his house help. He would be the gate man, he treated everybody as if get out from here. You he stinking thing. The the cook who after serving him food, why are you standing here? Get out, I don't want to see you. Come on, take this in a, why are you being there? Just shouting and bossing everybody and all those stuff. Yeah, of course I pay you. Of course I take care of you. It's not right. That is not right. You don't need to talk to your get men. You don't need to talk to those who are your drivers. You don't need to talk to them rudely and harshly. It's not good. It's not good. Arrogance is not good in any way. Put yourself in their shoe or put your children in their shoe. How do you want to be treated? How do you want to be addressed? Then therefore, if they are if you employ them and then you don't know that their life, your life is in their hand. That cook that you are insulting, that that copier you are insulting can poison your food. That get man that you are insulting. That, can arrange with robbers to come and rob you. They can organize with the cook and the, your mates in the house. Organize with them. The thief they will come probably just shoot their legs or just shoot one part of so so, so so they will not identify what has happened. Just shoot them. Then after they will just connive with them and 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 rob you and bring you down and even the end it, kill you and go. And therefore, treat them well. Respect them. They are human beings like you. They are human beings like you. And those are workers, both church and everywhere. They are human beings like you. 
without those contribution you know the houses and the jets you are driving and the, and the cars and everything and your children cannot go to school without their offerings and those people that you're taking care of without without, without, without the money they are paying you you know they will not be there they won't be alive Treat your clients very well. Treat them, respect them. They will be hostile so that they will be actual, but respect them. Arrogant is not good. It's not good at all. And that's what the reason why the Bible said that that's the reason why the Lord dealt with them. And God is still dealing with the arrogance. Man, if if you are not begin, beginning to see the reward of, of your of hostility and your foolishness towards your workers, let this be a point of, of, of reflection. Repent in the name of Jesus. Let's make this world a better place for all of us. Don't say because you're a Tanzanian or a Binodia or, or, or a Milonia or whatever, then therefore those who are working for you, those who are paying you know, little money, and therefore you just take them to become their their worthless in your sight. No, is that is not that is not right. That's not right. Hallelujah. Every just like one of these uh, company, the Tesco, they say every little counts. Every little, every little. That person that you will, that person that you will begin to neglect or begin to. And all that, they, that that little side of business you will spoil, you will spoil it. You are going down gradually. You will become rude to that customer or that client. You are going down gradually. Now the the, the reports or the comments or the or, or the, uh, the, the, the 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 comments about you in that area in that side will go down. You start or oh, oh, that person is not good. And, and and you know how negative words begin to fly. In the in the next few few months or few days, you begin to lose customers. You begin to ask, oh, what what is happening? Because of the person that you mistreated a few minutes, a few days ago. People are holding it. They are spreading that news around. So they are losing ground. May God help us in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Let's let's value everybody. Let not allow arrogant or you feel that now you are you are driving them um, in the uh, no no you are driving the best car or the best jet or whatever then you now forget that it was but that little little money that five five p or five five whatever people are you are getting from here and there and there that makes up that that that, that lot without the little, little things that you that you get from here and there it will not make that huge May God help us in the name of Jesus. You know, the, the, the reason God was angry with these guys and he dealt with them the way he dealt with him. And therefore, it's still the same God. Then if you're acting that way, repent or else the wrath of God is coming. May God help, help us in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. For well, you knew that they acted arrogantly against our fathers. And you made a name for yourself as it is to this day. And you divided the sea before them so that they went through the midst of the sea on dry land. And you cast their pursuers into the depths as a stone into mighty waters. By a pillar of cloud you led them in the day and by a pillar of fire in the night to light for them the way in which they should go. You came down on Mount Sinai and spoke with them from heaven and gave them right rules and true laws, good statutes and commandments. And you made known to them your holy Sabbath and commanded them commandments and statutes and a law by Moses your servant. You gave them bread from heaven for their hunger, and brought water for them out of the rock for their thirst. And you told them to go in to possess the land that you had sworn to give them. But they and our fathers acted presumptuously and stiffened their neck, and did not obey your commandments. They refused to obey and were not mindful of the wonders that you performed among them. But they stiffened their neck, and appointed a leader to return to their slavery in Egypt. But you are a God ready to forgive, gracious and merciful, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love, and did not forsake them. Even when they had made for themselves a golden calf, and said, This is your God who brought you up out of Egypt, and had committed great <laughs> blasphemies, 
you in your great mercies did not forsake them in the wilderness. The pillar of cloud to lead them in the way did not depart from them by day, nor the pillar of fire by night to light for them the way by which they should go. You gave your good spirit to instruct them, and did not withhold your manna from their mouth, and gave them water for their thirst. Forty years you sustained them in the wilderness, and they lacked nothing. Their clothes did not wear out, and their feet Hallelujah. did not swell. Hallelujah. And you gave them kingdoms and peoples, and allotted to them every corner. So they took possession of the land of Sion, king of Heshbon, and the land of Og, king of Bashan. You multiplied their children as the stars of heaven, and you brought them into the land that you had told their fathers to enter and possess. So the descendants went in and possessed the land, and you subdued before them the inhabitants of the land, the Canaanites, and gave them into their hand with their kings and the peoples of the land, that they might do with them as they would. And they captured fortified cities and a rich land, and took possession of houses full of all good things, cisterns already hewn, vineyards, olive orchards, and fruit trees in mm -hmm. abundance. Mm -hmm. So they ate and were filled and became fat, and delighted themselves in your great goodness. Mm -hmm. Nevertheless, they were disobedient and rebelled against you, and cast your law behind their back, and killed your prophets, who had warned them in order to turn them mm -hmm. back to you, and they committed great blasphemies. You see, the reason why children of Israel begin to add is because of what? Lack of understanding. Lack of understanding. Misunderstanding will always make us drag us into a place of destruction. And that's the reason why Satan is doing everything possible to the Christian you know, on a feminist not to be acquainted with the word of God. Because when he's able to take away the word of God from you, he has got in you. The word of God is life. The word of God is what? Is is your rock, is your everything. The when the word is taken, he's taken all from you. you. Can see the reason why we as Christians, as we, the reason why we find it very difficult to read the word of God. Because that's a huge part of our life that have been stolen, that have been taken, that have been, been played with, been torn with. May God have mercy in the name of Jesus. You see, all this information that this man is releasing here, after they, they've read the word of God, after they have understood it, then from the understanding of what they have read, that they, he was pouring his heart. This is true person. This is true nature. Who Satan has denied because of what a lack of the word of God. May God have mercy in the name of Jesus. Lack of the word of God. The word of God will always put, off, uh, put us above our enemy. We make us to swear, make us to overcome so many things. The greatest fight that Christi Christianity is having today is the word of God, nothing else. The healing we need is in the war. The faith we need is in the war. Those great, uh, you know, decisions we need to take is in the world. Everything we need is the word of God. May God help us the name and deliver us, Lord Jesus. Have mercy on us, Lord Jesus. Although we have not now, we have not read the word, we are not, we not, we don't appreciate you. We don't want to see the great time that you have delivered us from, from the powers of darkness and the, and the, you know, the thing that you have gone through, the deliverances that you have given to us, we cannot, we don't even see them, we can't even remember. Because we lack to meditate. We lack studying the word. For I help us, Lord Jesus. Have mercy, Lord. Have mercy, Lord Jesus. Have mercy, have mercy, Lord. Have mercy, Lord Jesus. Mercy, Lord, we pray this morning in the name of Jesus. Mercy, Lord, we pray. Hallelujah. See the, the great heart that the God has for his people. Giving them possession, giving them, making sure. You know, imagine, even the, even the, even the health that he gave them. The, is it, the place has been be huge. The, 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 the orchard, everything is ready. There's plantation, they have already done. Everything is ready. 
Just go and eat. Just go and harvest. A land that truly filled with milk and honey. And the Lord had prepared for his people. And after they have eaten and now getting fat up and uh, you know enjoy, now they forgot. They can they didn't even reflect you know, what, they, what they are enjoying. They then take take away the knowledge, knowing for them to appreciate the God that had given them all this. And the next thing they did was to begin to do all manner of wickedness against this God. May God have mercy on us in the name of Jesus. May we surround ourselves with the word this season in the name of Jesus. May we begin to reflect the goodness and the mercy of God and the, and the do's and the don'ts of God in the name of Jesus. Help us, Lord Jesus, in Jesus' name. Amen. In your great goodness. Nevertheless, they were disobedient and rebelled against you and cast your law behind their back and killed your prophets who had warned them in order to turn them back to you and they committed great blasphemies. Therefore you gave them into the hand of their enemies who made them suffer. Mm. And in the time of their suffering they cried out to you and you heard them from heaven. And according to your great mercies you gave them saviors who saved them from the hand of their enemies. But after they had rest they did evil again before you and you abandoned them to the hand of their enemies so that they had dominion over them. Mm. Yet when they turned and cried to you you heard from heaven and many times you delivered them according to your mercies. And you warned them in order to turn them back to your law. Yet they acted presumptuously and did not obey your commandments, but sinned against your rules, which if a person does them, he shall live by them. And they turned a stubborn shoulder and stiffened their neck and would not obey. Many years you bore with them and warned them by your spirit through your prophets. Yet they would not give ear. Therefore you gave them into the hand of the peoples of the lands. Nevertheless, in your great mercies, you did not make an end of them or forsake them, for you are a gracious and merciful God. Amen. Now therefore, our God, the great, the mighty, and the awesome God, who keeps covenant and steadfast love, let not all the hardship seem little to you that has come upon us, upon our kings, our princes, our priests, our prophets, our fathers, and all your people, since the time of the kings of Assyria until this day. Yet you have been righteous in all that has come upon us, for you have dealt faithfully, and we have acted wickedly. Mm. Our kings, our princes, our priests, and our fathers have not kept your law or paid attention to your commandments and your warnings that you gave them. Even in their own kingdom and amid your great goodness that you gave them, and in the large and rich land that you set before them, they did not serve you or turn from their wicked works. Mm. Behold, we are slaves this day, in the land that you gave to our fathers to enjoy its fruit and its good gifts, behold, we are slaves. And its rich ye Imagine the land the Lord gave them to dwell, to become, you know, to dwell. They are slaves. They are slaves. The same thing that happens to you and me. The place the Lord has placed us to be, to, to have dominion. Because of sin, you become slave. You become slave. Slave. Because of sin. Because of sin. May God have mercy on us in the name of Jesus. Just like yesterday morning, we were, we were, we were, the Lord took our mind to something. You know, as, as, as a son, a son and a servant in a house, or you have your master. You have, as a son, your master is your, is your father. Now, if a son decide not to be a son, and the slave now set the king place of the of the of the son because you feel oh he had to know everything he is he, employed here to do this and to do that you to the extent that even clearly the responsibility the thing you're supposed to do as a son you are not doing it. now a slave now is not taking your place my brother and sister if that your master or that your father is a very good person who has wisdom he should win everything to the slave. Seriously, he should win everything to the slave. Because if you win everything to the son, everything will be gone like the prodigal sons destroy or squander the inheritance. 
Then if your father or your or your father is wise, he should win everything to this to the slave. Because the slave has the has the has the ability to manage. Because the place of managing, then the, the, the son can be able to can, can, can be able to be sustained, can sustain the son because because that is the slave can manage, can manage the resources, he's been managing it. Now the son is is the boss. He doesn't want to do anything. The slave should do everything. Then uh, the person, the slave now, now end up knowing everything with the secret of your father's success. The son doesn't know. Then if you hand over to someone who doesn't know the secret, who doesn't have the 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 the, 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 the ability to to have the patience to endure, to manage crises, to manage all manners of you know attack challenges. Now, now give, now hand and with everything now to somebody who doesn't, who cannot manage crisis. Just give him the 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 the, the throne or give in the process. Just with this short, short while, everything will go down. That company will be no more. That establishment will be no more. Because the son doesn't know anything. But a wise person will give it to what to the servant. The servant can contain. The servant will still respect the son. You still see the son as what? As the owner of the thing. And the son to what? How unfortunately, because of the arrogance already, the son cannot humble themselves. And then, therefore, it's better that the will be explained and be drawn that the, the, the servant is the one that is in charge. So that they, with that, they, they can sustain the, 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 the son with his uh, family and all those stuff. Or else, Everybody will go down. Then, therefore, if you're in place anywhere and God have given you opportunity to be a son in or into a home that your father was able to manage properly and everything was okay, put your eyes, draw closer to your father, ask him question. Your father can be angry and tell you off and 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 and, and be and be distant to you, be rude to you. Respect him, humble him, humble. Go back to him, say that I'm sorry for what I have done. For talking to you, told in the process, he will handle you, he will give you everything. You are ready to take over, you are ready to be able to manage, you are able to sustain his legacy. But any son that always you go to the accountant, oh, give me, oh, um, uh, give me, uh, give me five thousand there, or oh, give me that money there. You go, 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 after walking around, oh, give me that money there. Please, can you transfer so so money to my accounts now? He cannot do anything. He doesn't know anything. If you hand over the ministry, that is why you see a lot of a lot of a lot of a lot of establishments. Lately, the main person that that were managing or the or the owner dies, everything will go down because the son doesn't know anything. And unfortunately, too, the 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 owner does not really understand this fact. May God help us in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. God wants us to be a son and not servant. He wants us to be in charge. He wants us to know. Hallelujah. And I pray God will help us in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, this morning. He said, Behold, we are slaves this day. In the land that you gave to our fathers to enjoy, it's what it's fruit and it's uh, good, it's gift. Behold, we are slave. The place is supposed to be what the son, you are slave because of what sin, arrogance. We are now slaves, and it is. And it rich yields goes to the kings whom you have set over us because of our sin. The king he set, who's supposed to be your servant. Then everything I'm going to him. Because of what? Because of sin. See what sin can cause. Deny us so many things. Father, have mercy, Lord Jesus. Anyhow, we have lost it or going toward that way of this destruction. Father, Lord, let your mercy, let your mercy, Lord Jesus. Bring us back, O oh Lord. Whatever forces of that land attack our senses, we decree, let the fire of God burn every wickedness, destroy every arrow 
in the name of Jesus. We will be sensible in the name of Jesus to take responsibility that you are giving to us in the name of Jesus. See, they rule over our bodies and over our livestock as they please. And we are in great distress because of all this. We make a firm covenant in writing on the seal and on the seal document are the names of the prince, our Levites and our and our priest. May God help us in the name of Jesus. Yeah, the children of Israel now in after reading the word, <laughs> hallelujah. See the power in the word. After reading the word of God, their brain became correct. And now they can think right. They can now see where the mistake is coming from. Now they now know that they have gone so far away. They have to now write a covenant and sign it. They praise the Levite and the priest. May God help us in the name of Jesus. Before things begin to turn around. May God help us in the name of Jesus. Father Lord, just every wayward Every word of spirit be released against our children, against our life. For I will call the spirit down. The spirit of waywardness, the blood of Jesus against you over our life. You spirit of waywardness, the blood of Jesus against you will cause you and will put you from our lives in the name of Jesus. For a sound mind we pray from now. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Now we we'll go straight down to the next scripture. Hallelujah. Revelation chapter 2 from verse 1 to end. Thank you, Jesus. Inside God we pray. Amen. Chapter 2 To the angel of the church in Ephesus write, The words of him who holds the seven stars in his right hand, who walks among the seven golden lampstands. I know your works, your toil, and your patient endurance and how you cannot bear with those who are evil, but have tested those who call themselves apostles and are not, and found them to be false. I know you are enduring patiently and bearing up for my name's sake, and you have not grown weary. But I have this against you, that you have abandoned the love you had at first. Remember therefore from where you have fallen, repent, and do the works you did at first. If not, I will come to you, and remove your lampstand from its place, unless you repent. Yet this you have. You hate the works of the Nicolaitans. Amen. Yeah, the word of God is saying, if you, he said, I know your work, your toys, and your patience, your endurance, and how you cannot bear with those who are evil. But, I have tested those who call themselves apostles that are not and found themselves to be what false and found themselves to be false and I pray in the name of you that those who are genuinely serving the Lord in the spirit and in truth may the Lord deliver them from the spirit of ignorance and blindness because so many people are starving the law with blindness. They don't really understand. Things are happening in their environment. They don't know. But this set of people, yeah, the, 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 the law gave them the wisdom, the, the, the insight to understand what is happening. When, 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 there is, when you have false prophets or false powers or false apostles around you, sometimes the people, they don't know. I'm telling you what, these things happen to me. They are around you, you don't know. In the process, you'll be joining them there in their evil. You'll be bowing down your head, they'll be laying hand on you. You know they're, they're false. And you cannot see, you cannot even know. And why won't you know? Because we are far away from the word of God. Not only just spiritual discernment, but the word of God. Even, what are you going to decide when you don't know when you don't know the word of God? The spirit of discernment works with, with what you know, with the truth that is in you. May God have mercy in the name of Jesus. I know sometimes the Holy Spirit can, because of, because of the power of the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit can help you to, to just, it, it don't, it don't, you are not, 
you are you are not you are not you are not, you are not in agreement with the certain certain things that are going on. You may not know the reason because of the Holy Spirit in you, but you don't really know the reason. But when you have the word of God, then you will know the reason why you are not. So you can be able now to teach or to let people know that this thing is not good. But the Holy Spirit will just make you oh Holy Spirit will because Holy Spirit will work more with the information you have in you. And so that when the Holy Spirit is giving you some things, you may not really be sure. It to tell you, telling you to say something, you may not really be too sure because you don't know the basis where that information is coming from. Because when you have the information, the Holy Spirit is not giving you things, then you stand more. You are more kind of bold, bold. You know that sometimes when, when we are doing our, I can be saying things and the, and the Spirit of God is speaking through me. Sometimes I'm not too sure. I'll just touch them and come out. Touch them and come out. Touch them and come out. Then when the Holy Spirit, I know the Holy Spirit, you know, this thing is in the scripture. I deal with it more. I'm more bold. Even when I ask questions, I can answer anywhere. That's the reason why knowing the word of God or reading the Bible is very, very vital as a Christian. Very, very vital. Hardly. Because the person of the Lord will open your eyes. And not just reading it once. You will read it over and over. The more you read it, the more the Lord is opening your eyes deeper and deeper. The more your eyes being open deeper. Sometimes God just wants you to know in the area of faith, according to a, in a particular verse of the word of God. The one that sees in past, when you go again, the Lord will begin to you know bring out patience or bring out another virtue in that very word of God. That means you just reading it as so I have read. No, you could need to read. If you have the ability to finish the whole Bible in a week, just it's not enough. Just keep reading. Going around, going back. And each of those, the Lord will always give you a different rhema, a different, your eye will always open to certain truths. And I pray the name of you, that zeal in the name of Jesus. Yeah, you can see this set of people. Yeah, because of the knowledge they have. Yeah, they know. He said, but you have tested. They tested those apostles they tested those false teachers with the base with the knowledge they have with the with the word of god in them you are able to test them say but you tested those who are called themselves apostles are not and found themselves to be what and found them that they, they are false and i know you are enduring they know you are enduring patiently and bearing up for my name's sake Because here they are operating the knowledge they know. You God help us, and that's not enough. Yeah, and you have not grown weary. God recognized that they don't know grow. But I have I have this against you that you have abandoned the first love. Hallelujah. Now, what is happening here? Because of these uh, fake apostles and fake prophets and fake things around them. They may turn them off. Turn them off. Stop this thing you are doing. Stop this thing you are doing. They have a passion with them. Repent, repent, repent. They don't want to repent. In the process, resentment start coming. In the process, you know, hatred start coming in. The first love, the love of Christ, that's supposed to be the root of their chastising these guys, is gradually dying off. Because Satan can still use this set of people to pull those who are strong and away from faith. Because in the process, God, remember God is the creator of everybody. He takes care of everyone. In the process, God will still be keeping them. They will go to their work and prosper, give children and give birth and all those stuff. They are doing, things are going well with them too. Then the process, these guys will become faint-hearted. But God, what is happening here? But these guys are not true. They are, they are false. But why are you blessing them? Why this is good? The process, they begin to go down, 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 down. See, Satan can still use this strategy in order to pull down the righteous. And the process, begin to forget your first love. Here, because of the love of God. Hallelujah. 
the love of Father drawing you and me out from that wicked spirit of enemy. Calling our attention. Don't forget, even though you want these people to repent, don't forget the first love. Anything we do, we just tell people, we just tell them, it, it, it's not based in love, it's what? Sin. You are correcting people and, and your basis of correction is not in love. It's what? Sin. May God help us in Jesus' name. You see, how Satan can, Bible say, is a crooked serpent. You know how to deceive. You know how to lure us out from the truth. If God did not use this opportunity to draw these guys out, now you and me, in the process, we begin to create resentment. In the process, our heart begin to be hardened, gradually drawing us away from God. In the process, we become wicked. Because we want to show this guy, you guys, you are, you are forced. Then in the process, even what is due to them, you will, you will deny them. Because you feel that they are, they are forced. And again, you begin to judge them. See how this very <laughs> thing can happen. And Satan will use these false teachers and others now to pull the righteous away. Because the righteous are trying to fight for God. <laughs> oh God, have mercy. Then the person they, they want to fight for God. I said that we know the game is playing. It's, it's only God who helps us. Satan know the game is playing with them. But when the true love of Christ, that's it, return back to your first love. Return back to your first love. May God help us in the name of Jesus. In the matter of all this whole thing that's going around us, that we will not forget our first love. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. You see what I have? I have, I have this against you. That you have abandoned the, the love you had at first. Remember therefore from where you are falling. Even though they appear to be strong. They appear to know the false teachers. And, but they are falling too. God have mercy. Hallelujah. Remember where you are falling. Repent and do the work you did at first. If not, I will come to you and remove your lampstand. I will come and remove your lampstand from its place unless you repent. Unless you repent. Unless you repent. Yet this you have. You hate the works of Nick Layton, Which I also hate. He who has an ear. Let him hear what the Spirit says to the church. Now he cannot see the level of perfection. The Lord wants us to be attending. Can see the level of expectation is high. May God have mercy on us in the name of Jesus. That is why he says you should run this race with fear and trembling. May God help us highly. Then to the one who conquer, I will grant to eat of the tree of life, which is in paradise of God. Hallelujah. I think we're going to stop it here. I don't want to go to the next church. At this, in this this season, we take it this way, hardly in the name of Jesus. Yeah, that's the first church. And I pray in the name of reflect reflect in your life. Now, do you have ability to to to, to identify the first prophets and the four teachers around you? That is that is a kudos for you. That is a great thing. But be careful that the first teachers and the false prophets that you know. The Satan will not use them to lure you out from your first love in the name of Jesus. I want us to pray this moment and ask the Lord, please Lord have mercy on me. All the way that have opened the door for the enemy to come in. I shut those doors in the name of Jesus. 
that shut those doors in the name of Jesus. I shut those doors. I shut those doors in the name of Jesus. Then the love of God began to grow more and more deeper and deeper in my heart. For I draw me closer, closer and closer to you in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, you are this hour for what you've done in the name of Jesus. I want you to repeat this word with me. Say, Lord Jesus, I come to you now. I know I have sinned against you. Please forgive me. Cleanse me. I repent from all my sin. And I will serve you from now to the rest of my life. Help me, O Lord, you let the Holy Spirit help me, O Lord, you draw me closer and closer to you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now go quickly go to our confession. I know this morning we have over overstay already. Hallelujah. If this happens once in a while, and when the Spirit of God want to deal with these things, it's very, very good. We just used to you. I'm very, very sorry for those who may be going to Hallelujah. And uh, the good thing about this, this this will always be on our side for the next uh, few whatever, few months of place. It can still go back to it and the Lord will use it to do what he has to do in your life in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Now, let's quickly go now to our confessions. Let's say be the name of the Lord who is worthy to be praised. Hallelujah to you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Psalm chapter 23 from verse 1. Holy Spirit of Lord, we yield to, to you, Lord Jesus. Confess through us, O Lord. In the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. From verse 1, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in great pastures. He lead me beside the still water. Hallelujah. He restores my soul. Hallelujah. He led me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of shadow of death, I fear no evil. For you are with me, your rod and staff, your staff that comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. In the name of Jesus, you anoint my hair with oil, my cup overflows. Sure, the goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. In the name of Jesus, I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. In the name of Jesus. Psalm 91 from verse 1 to end. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will abide in the shadow of the Almighty. My spirit and soul and body begin to dwell. May you and may we begin, may you begin to dwell in the shelter of the Most High. In the name of Jesus. We will continue to abide under the shadow of the Almighty. And I will say to the Lord, my refuge, my fortress, my God, in whom I trust. For he will deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with his pinion and under his wing will find refuge. His faithfulness is a shield and a buckler. You will not fear the terrors of the night or the arrow that fly by day in the name of Jesus, nor the pestilence that stalk in the darkness, in the, nor the destruction that waste at no day in the name of Jesus. A thousand before at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you. In the name of Jesus, you will only look with your eyes and see the recompense of the wicked. In the name of Jesus, you will have, because you have made the Lord your dwelling place, the most high who is your refuge. No evil shall be allowed to befall you. No plague come near your tent. For the Lord has commanded his angel concerning you, Mara, Mara, Kaira, to guide you in all your ways. On their hands, they will bear you up. Unless you strike your foot against the stone, you will tread on the, on the lion and the adder. The young lion and the serpent will drop on that foot in the name of Job. Because you hold fast to me in love. Hallelujah. We hold fast to God in love. The Lord will deliver the vows in the name of David. Amen. Hallelujah. The Lord said, I will protect him. I will protect you because you know my name. Hallelujah. 
when you call when I call to the Lord you will answer me you be with me in trouble you rescue me and honor me with long life you satisfy me and show me salvation in every areas of my life in the name of Jesus I pray amen and amen thank you Lord Jesus thank you Lord Jesus hallelujah the next scripture Psalm 144 from verse 1 to end thank you Lord Jesus thank you Lord Jesus blessed be the rock hallelujah blessed be the Lord my rock hallelujah who trains my hand for war my fingers for battle he is my steadfast Lord and my fortress my stronghold and my deliverer my shield in whom I take refuge who subdues people under me oh Lord what a man that you're regarding or a son of man that you that you think of him man is like a breath is this like a passing shadow bow your heavens O lord and come down toward the mountains so that the smoke flash for the land and scatter them in the name of jesus set out your arrow and rule them stretch out your hand from on high rescue me and deliver me from many waters from the hands of the foreigners whose man speaks lies whose right hand is right hand of falsehood in the name of jesus I will sing a new song to you, O oh God, upon a ten string harp. I will play to you who gives victory to kings, who rescued David the servant from a cruel sword. Rescue me and deliver me from the hands of the foreigners whose mouth speaks lies and whose right hand is right hand of falsehood. May our son in their youth be like plant full grown. Our daughters like a corner pillars, called for a structure of a palace. May our granary be full, providing all kinds of produce. May our sheep bring four thousands and ten thousand in our field. May our cattle be heavy with young, suffering no mishap or failure in, in bearing in the name of Jesus. May there be no cry of distress in our streets. Blessed are the people to whom such blessings fall. Blessed are the people whose God is the Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Blessed be your holy name. In the name of Jesus. And then the next scripture, Psalm 50, 59, from verse 1 to 2. Deliver me from my enemies, O Lord. Protect me from those who rise up against me. Deliver me from those who walk evil. And save me from blood testament in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. One, two, four, Psalm. If it had not been the Lord who was on our side, let Israel now say, if it had not been the Lord who was on our side, when people rose up against us, then they would have swallowed us up alive. When the anger was kindled against us, then the flow would have swept us away. The torrents would have gone over us. Then over us who have gone the raging waters. Blessed be the Lord who has not given us as a prayer to their teeth. We have escaped like a bed from the snail of the fowler. The snail is broken. In the name of Jesus, we have escaped. And our help is in the name of the Lord who made the heavens and the earth. Thank you, Lord Jesus, this morning for what you've done. Glory, honor, majesty, wisdom, power be to your holy name. King of kings, Lord of lords. Mighty God, we give you praise. We give you praise, Lord Jesus, for all things you've done. Glory to your holy name. Glory to your holy name. Glory to your holy name. In the name of Jesus, Holy One, we pray. Amen and amen and amen. God bless you all, my brothers and sisters. Hallelujah. Oh, our beloved sister, Tori Elizabeth, thank you for joining us this morning. This morning, hallelujah. God bless you in the name of Jesus. And I pray that God will continue to keep you and your ministry, your family, your children in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. By the grace of God, we will be here again. Hallelujah. In, in the day today, we will we, we'll come back here alive in, in today in the name of Jesus and in the evening. And please don't forget our fasting and prayer. Uh, three days fasting and prayer, first, second, and third. 
very, 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 Few years ago, the Lord was just putting something in my heart because we always concentrate on the blood of Jesus Christ. We overcome by, with the blood of Jesus. But that word of testimony, we don't today. We don't. We don't. We don't go to. We don't deal with it enough. Word of testimony, and anytime the children of Israel err, anytime they sin against God, the Lord will always say, "Because you have forgotten." Yeah. Because you have forgotten, because you have forgotten, you have forgotten. There are so many things that enemy will not want to cheat us, or not want to get things, it will cause forget, make us to forget things. Just like the 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 the, the word of God we just read now. That is the, the, the book of Nehemiah chapter chapter 9. The same thing too. Because children of Israel they forgot, they forgot, they forgot, they forgot. And as they begin to read the Torah, begin to read the, the word of God. They begin to remember. They became sober. You don't need to force them to, to fast and pray. They need to fast, begin to repent. Things begin to turn around. Because Satan always wants to deal with our mind to make us to forget and forget so they can deal with us. Because most of most of, most time the, the, the level of affliction and the evil that we go through is, is because of the level of our ignorance. And I pray God will help us in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. To remember, reflect back the things that God has done and begin to thank God, thank God, thank God. Hallelujah. In thanksgiving, in this three, three, three days fast and prayer going to be, you know, fast and prayer of thanksgiving. We fast and thank Him. Hallelujah. We thank the Lord and I pray that God will help us that we never see, you know, things that will make us to say, oh, we start praying for this and pray for that. Binding and losing. Let the burning and losing, let's, let's, the burning and let it be in thanks. Thanks God, thank God, thank God, thank God. And I pray that these three days that the Lord will do great things in our lives in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. As we come together in these three days, that the great things will happen in our lives. Father, we thank you, Lord Jesus. Say glory to your holy name for all that you have done. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. I will say this morning, May the Lord bless you. May the Lord protect you. May the Lord smile on you and be gracious to you. May the Lord show you his favor and give you his peace. In Jesus' name we pray. Love you all and God bless you all. And have a very wonderful day today in Jesus' name. The rest of God will be here again in the evening. Please enjoy us and God will bless you. Amen. Go and prosper in Jesus' name. Amen.